It was fun. It was good. The crowd, the energy was there. Glad to perform in front of family. Glad we got a win. I'm excited for the season. Yeah, it felt great, man. After the scrimmage and the exhibition game, it felt good to really toss it up for real. You guys were on target when sort of the rest of the other guys, the seniors coming back from struggling. How did it feel to sort of be up by 10 and a half? Like the other guys weren't playing particularly well. Um, we got this motto, I got your back, you got my back. So it doesn't matter who's performing or not. We all got each other. Got a little chippy there in the second half, a little physical. Mm -hmm. Close game. It's still be, be expected. It's good, though. I mean, just with our roles, both coming and being big pieces where we were, wanting to come to a team that did win a championship and try and replicate that. When our number is called, it's just time for us to come in and add just as much of an impact as we can. How did you feel for yourself being on, basically from your hometown? Close it was great. It was great. Definitely playing in front of my, my family that's never seen me play, my grandparents. It's a great experience, and I just can't wait to try and bring a championship home here again. What's the biggest difference now in your adjustment from Division Two to Division One? Um, probably the physicality is way more physical. You know, coaching and scouting is better. You know, they know everything you're going to do before you do it, and you hear it being called out. So, probably that. And you're playing center now, a little bit of small ball center, I guess. Yeah, just doing whatever we got to do to win. I'll take it. Eagles, pretty big dude, right? Kind yeah, yeah, he is. Kid is tough. Yeah, give Albany credit and and, um, and 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 Bobby Jordan filling in for Dwayne Killings. Uh, they 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 uh, we had to earn it. Um, I, I want to thank uh, not just because he's here. I just said it to Spear. I want to thank Steve and his staff. That was a, an excellent crowd. Um, it's what a college basketball environment is supposed to be like, and um, I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, you know, with that said, uh, I'm glad we recruited Sekou and Nigel. If you told me coming in, Nick and Cam, we're going to go two for 17. I would definitely have been worried. <laughs> That's why we were. Um, I thought they made timely threes. I'll have to watch a tape. Uh, a lot of broken plays, long shots, long rebounds. We didn't do a good job cleaning up glass. But we did do a good job of uh, making foul shots late. Um, and we told our guys in the locker room that if you, you know, this is what it's going to be like every night. So, uh, you know, we're still finding our way. You still looking for a rotation? I don't think I've ever seen you play seven. Well, you know, Matt, you're one of the smartest Towson people I've ever met. And we actually, with Jarrell's senior year, we won 25 games. Our seventh man played 11 minutes a game. So I think we have the ability to go two or three deeper. Um, you know, we're not there yet. We had him on the ropes. Maybe I should have put a couple guys in. I mean, I'll make the most mistakes because I'll make the most decisions. So, like, I'll go home, watch tape tonight, and figure out all the mistakes I made and hopefully how we can get better at it. Not that you knew you were going to be a little bit smaller when you went to see you at five, but the rebounding, I didn't see the numbers. Exactly. Yeah, I, I don't think we did a good job cleaning up glass enough. Um, you know, long shots, long rebounds. Some of it's guards rebounding down. Um, you know, what's, what's exciting is that everyone's going to expect us just to roll over everyone. It's not going to happen. It's going to be a grind. We're going to have to earn it. We've got holes. we, we got stuff we're trying to get better at. Um, but I think the more these type of games we have, it's going to help us come, you know, February and March. I think Nick was pressing a little bit with the crowd. And I think all our guys want to play really well and perform well at, at home in front of their peers and, and family, especially those competitive guys. And, and all those guys are, are competitive. And, and, you know, we'll, we'll get it right, you know. That, that's they, they're, they're playing hard. They'll, they'll be fine. Jake, go ahead. Yeah, um, yeah they, you guys had a 15-point lead at one point, and then they ended up taking the lead um, late in the second half. And that really when it started to get chippy, how do you kind of keep the guys in the right mindset to kind of pull out the victory? Yeah, yeah I got to look. I, I think probably it mentioned bad play calls as we had uh, in, in that stretch where they, where they came back. So they, like I said, certainly we, we've got to clean some stuff up X and O wise. Um, I, I do think some of that. Uh, that um, competitive juice stuff is probably good for some of our guys. It, it gets them to lock in. Uh, so I thought that probably helped us late. You mentioned, mentioned the crowd. You haven't seen too many where they were so loud, you actually forced a free throw miss or two. Yeah, it was great. I mean, like I said, it's, um, you know, it's what, you know, like I said, I've been here a while, so I, I, I appreciate that. We've had a lot of good teams, and I think when there's energy like that, it, it absolutely helps. And, I, you know, like I said, it's a credit to, our administration and, and our president and Steve and getting everyone to come out and, and creating that environment. Got to be road warriors now, right? 
Yeah, we got great opportunities. We're going to go play UMass. That's an Atlantic 10 team. It's a brand name. They got a Final Four coach. Uh, so it, it, it's going to, you know, present a lot of challenges, but it's also a great opportunity for us.